we had for a long time delivered ultrasound education uh, to our trainees in a variety of settings, um, but it wasn't consistent. Not everybody got the same thing at the same time, and we had struggled to find a place for that education in our curriculum. When we made the change to our X plus Y or four plus one schedule, um, that created an opportunity in our curriculum half day during the ambulatory week to build in some dedicated time for ultrasound teaching. So last year, what we decided to do was for the interns of the first year residents, teach them the basic views, teach them basics about ultrasound physics. And then for the second and third year residents, what we try to do is advance the curriculum and do more image interpretation, pathologic case review, and then advanced um, quantitative metrics. You can sit in a classroom or do an online module or read a book about ultrasound and you're gonna learn stuff, um, but you have to get time with the probe in your hand, on a human, scanning organs, manipulating the probe, manipulating the machine uh, to really learn. Um, the art of both capturing the image as well as interpreting what you're seeing. I've seen the second and third year residents who have come through are a lot more confident, not only getting basic views, but measuring these advanced quantitative uh, metrics that we've taught. The point of our curriculum is to not have them learn everything there is to know about point of care ultrasound across the broad swath of internal medicine, but rather provide them the building box and the foundation so that when they go on and they know what normal looks like and how to get a normal image. And then when they go on the wards or they go to the ICU or even in the clinic and they need to use it, they're then able to see some pathology, um, know what they're seeing, and then know how to make um, a clinical decision from that. I compare myself as a second year resident to the current second year residents and their ability um, with ultrasound is, it's unbelievable. Um, and I've, and it's just not just me, I've heard that from other critical care staff too who have worked with them. They're, some of the residents are actually better and more uh, confident using ultrasound than they are. 